Hi, this is Sean Chua from SimpleChemConcepts.com. Today we're going to discuss a very important concept in the topic of atomic structure known as isotopes. At the end of this video, you will understand the meaning of isotopes as well as look at how they are being tested in examinations. Isotopes are defined as atoms of the same elements with the same number of protons and electrons but different number of neutrons. If you look at the periodic table, most of the elements that are listed there exist as isotopes. Only a couple of them do not. And there are two examples we're going to discuss today, which are very common when we look at isotopes. One of them is hydrogen itself. Hydrogen exists in three isotopes. The first is this. This will be the second one, and this is the third one. So if you look at them, they are actually atoms, spherical atoms. So there are three isotopes of hydrogen. Let's take a look what are the differences. Now, if you look at this, this is known as the proton number, the number at the bottom, and the one at the top is known as the mass number. So for this first hydrogen isotope, you will have one proton, one electron. Since one atom is always electrically neutral, so the number of protons and the number of electrons must be the same. This is known as a mass number, and if we use the mass number minus proton number, that will give us the number of neutrons. So in this case, it will be one minus one, that will be zero neutron. Likewise, we're gonna do it for the second and the third isotopes. For this one, it will be one proton, one electron, and two minus one, that will give us one neutron. For the last one, one proton, one electron, three minus one, that will give you two neutrons. So in this way, you can see that isotopes, they tend to have the same number of protons, same number of the electrons, but different number of neutrons. The next example we're going to look at is chlorine, a very important element to discuss. Chlorine is known to exist in two isotopes with mass number 35 and 37. So one is 35, the other one is 37. Chlorine has a proton or atomic number of 17. So this will be two isotopes of chlorine you're looking at. And chlorine has also been found out to, uh, in this percentage abundance of 75% and 25%. Now, if you look at the periodic table, um, chlorine has a relative atomic mass of 35.5. This is what you see in the periodic table. So right now, I'm going to prove to you that first of all, these two are isotopes of chlorine and then I show you how we get the relative atomic mass of chlorine to be 35.5. So look at it clearly. Over here, this chlorine isotope will have 17 protons, 17 electrons. 35 minus 17, that will give you 18 neutrons. The other one, you have 17 protons 17 electrons 37 minus 17 that will give you 20 neutrons they are isotopes next we're going to calculate the relative atomic mass of 35.5 of chlorine as you always see it in the periodic day boom oh. so here we go therefore to find the relative atomic mass symbol we will write it as AR of chlorine will be using the mass number so that will be 35, multiplied by the percentage abundance, that is 75. You add on the mass number of the other isotope of chlorine, multiplied by its percentage abundance, and then divided by, because it's add up 100%, so you divide by 100. If you use a calculator and do a quick calculation, you realize that the relative atomic mass of chlorine will be 35.5. Now we're going to look at the exam question and see how isotopes are being tested. 
Now let's take a look at a question on isotopes. In this question, you are given that a group of scientists discovered a new element X. It has two isotopes with relative atomic mass of 122. The more dominant isotope has a mass number of 120 and represents 60% of element X. Determine the mass number of the other isotope. Now to solve this question, I'll be using the values that is given to me. And I understand there are two isotopes of element X. So in my mind, I know that there will be two isotopes of element X. The first isotope has a mass number of 120 and percentage abundance is 60%. The other isotope where you are asked to find the mass number, you then let alphabet A be the mass number of this isotope. Percentage abundance will be 100 minus 60, that will be 40 per cent. Next, we will then use the formula relative atomic mass of an element all right, to solve it. And knowing that element X has a relative atomic mass of 1, 2, 2. So it will go like this. Relative atomic mass of element X, which is 1, 2, 2, will then be the percentage abundance, which is 1, 2, 0, multiplied by 60% plus mass number of A multiplied by 40% divided by overall 100 per cent. Using a calculator, you will then solve A, which is the mass number of the other isotope, to be 125. I hope you find the teaching in this video useful to you. Feel free to share this with your friends and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.